It's estimated more than 2,000 wild horses free range across the western half of Colorado, managed by the Bureau of Land Management. Organizations like Grand Valley Horse Rescue try to save the horses that BLM round up, brands, and adopt out, only to have too many wind up in slaughterhouses. I talked to the director of the program to find out about the latest BLM Mustang recovered from a slaughterhouse. Everybody has some reason, some why to get up in the morning. Um, it's for me to save one more horse. Which is exactly what Shelly of Grand Valley Horse Rescue did when they saved a precious horse named Butter from a slaughterhouse holding pen. Every rescue in the state of Colorado is full or over full right now. It was the first time their group had ever done that. She's the only horse that we actually went and purchased out of a kill pen. It's just a small step, but Mima hopes to stem the dwindling number of horses in the state. Right now in the United States, there is a large quantity of them being shipped across the border to Mexico, being slaughtered. And with the economy the way it is, almost every rescue filled up because people can't afford to keep their horses. Horses may be the icons of the West, but when Colorado legislatures introduced a bill banning the sale of horses for slaughter, cattlemen, pro rodeo, and ag associations all put down that bill, pressuring some lawmakers to alter it. Incredibly disappointed. Um, that was a viable bill. That would have given us an opportunity to help these horses. And instead they turned it into another transportation bill. All horses matter to Grand Valley Horse Rescue, but when they go to BLM auctions at San Wash or Piance Creek. We're only gonna save a Colorado Mustang. With a very high success rate. We have actually gotten all the Mustangs adopted out that came up for adoption so far. Mima says when other horse lovers see Grand Valley Horse Rescue at auctions where kill buyers are known to lurk, they're inspired to save these icons of the West as well, helping them trot or gallop their way to a new kind of freedom. But by us being there and showing people what's there, we have another rescue that pulls out the Arabians, another rescue that pulls out the Appaloosas, another rescue that pulls out the mini horses. But you don't have to buy a horse to save one. What the public can really do to help is to pick a horse rescue in Colorado, anywhere in the United States, and give $20, $25 a month to that rescue. Standing up against those who relinquished them from slaughter and for the animals that made the West.